Welcome to race number four of the first season of the WRA Oreo Cup Series here on a cloudy day at Bristol, Tennessee. The Bristol Motor Speedway, also known as the last great Coliseum. 150 laps on tap here today. Fuel and tires are going to not play a big factor as we get set for this race. Laura Bakersfield starts on the pole position in the 77. She comes into this race nine, where she comes into this race? Seventh in the points. Daniel Voiles alongside of him. The last two weeks have not been kind to him. He's dropped from top 10 to 25th in the point standings. Ebonia Miramo is in row number two. Comes into this race. Trying to find the Mirmois in point. And for some reason, I cannot find her. Oh, there she is, 17th in the points. Morgan Henderson comes into this race. 20th in the points. Here's a look at the points going into this race, so that way you guys can see who is where now it's time to get these drivers ready to go and we'll get this party started command was already been given for these drivers so ready to go 150 laps here today at bristol motor speedway It's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen today in the Food City 500 as this will be 150 laps and 150 laps is going to go by really quickly. Hey Scurzin, the fourth race of the season. We're racing at Bristol. Let's roll. Last week at Atlanta, we had our first yellow of the season. Will it happen again today? Laura Bakersfield will lead the first lap. right now the three winners that we've had lisa gonzalez our winner from vegas last week's winner luke knight jumped up the fourth in the points and kyle langland dates on a 500 winner all three of them are inside the top 30 in the points and would have a spot towards would have a playoff spot as of now as we are only now, about to be four races into the season. 150 laps is the longest these drivers are going to run today. Excuse me. Laura Bakersfield currently pulling away from Ebony Merwes. Let's check the back of the field. Some bad qualifying efforts, and there's a spin. That's Tyler Henderson who has gone around. He keeps it together, and the first caution of the race is out. I was getting ready to check the back of the field, see how they're doing, and well, that didn't take long for our first spin of the day. Lap number seven to go to lap eight. Let's see what happened to Tyler here. Three wide does not work at Bristol. Looks like O'Neill Baldwin's going to hook, hook him in the left rear, go down into Greg Rutz, and around went the Outback Steakhouse machine, the Outback Steakhouse Nissan. Did Greg get the wall? Because I didn't see if he did. Indeed, he did. Watch, as Tyler hits him right here, he's going to go right around and then whammo. Pancakes the right side of that little Caesar Chevrolet. Looks like nobody's coming to pit road, so we're going to 
Bander Caution, our first of the day, our second of the season. That was what we kind of expected at Bristol. If we had a caution free race at Atlanta, I said last week, something tells me we're going to have a wreck fest at Bristol. And well, we've already started and we're not, and we just completed 10 laps. Hopefully these drivers will survive survive this race. Of course, next week we're going to another tricky track on the calendar. NASCAR's oldest super speedway track, Darlington, South Carolina. The Lady in Black, or what old school people like myself call it, the track too tough to tame. Hope you will be with us for that race. Give you the field rundown. Laura Bakersfield is the leader. Ebony Amirwa is second. Betty Johnson third. Seth Cola in the Superman colors this week in fourth. Red Riding Hood fifth. Chloe Erickson sixth. Seventh, Morgan Henderson, excuse me. Eighth is Amber Downey. Ninth, Reagan Whitlock. And Ish Taylor completes top ten. Lulu Champagne 11th. Twelfth, Alexandria Van Dam. Zach Underwood 13th. Fourteenth is Anne Maria with Kel Kyle Sutton, excuse me, in fifth. Lisa Gonzalez, the points leader in 16th. Greta Wagner in 17th. 18th, Ben Erickson. Cody Smart, 19th. Daniel Voles is 20th. Kyle Langland, Daytona 500 winner, 21st. 22nd, Soraya Itman, 23rd. Kevin Joseph, 24th. Sandy Stewart with Brittany White in 25th. Annie Thomas, 26th. Her teammate, Luke Knight, in 27. 28th, Danny Rant, 29th. Josephine Bouvier, and 30th is Marion Jamestown. They got the win to go signal. Greg Retz, 31st, 32nd, Troy King, 33rd, Alita Therese with Brenda Ealing in 34th, 35th, O'Neill Baldwin, 36th, Melissa Cooper, 37th, Alex Hawkins, and Tyler Henderson in 38th. Once the leader takes the green, um, Tyler Henderson will be already half a lap down. And we're back to green. These cars can go 200 laps, roughly, on fuel. And looks like we had a crash. However, that didn't bring out a yellow. That looks like O'Neill Baldwin. Why is he on pit road? Let's go back. Unless he got turned. Oh, we, yeah, somebody got turned on the restart. Who was that that got spun? Let's go back to the 04. Oh, it's the 10. The 10 got spun. Pow! In the inside wall. That's a lot of damage to Troy King. Surprisingly, the caution did not come out. Now the 10's going to have some damage to the grill, to the front end of his Audi. In that regard, Balvin is now two laps down. Troy King is the last car on the lead lap. So we did have a spin, however, it did not bring out a caution. Because the 10 was well out of harm's way when it happened. Laura Bakersfield, currently the leader, currently comes in this race, as I mentioned, seventh in the points. Only two top tens this season, has not registered a top five this year. Trying to get a top five, her first of the season. Sorry about 
本。Ebony and Mirmo is trying to catch up. Let's see where Troy King. Yeah, he's got a little hood buck on that Nos Energy Audi. And Troy King, who comes into this race 32nd in the points, that's exactly not what he needed. I also see some drivers running well in points back here. Greta Wagner, third in the points. Annie Thomas, 10th in the point standings, is back here. Lita Therese, who's up there. I see a lot of drivers running very well in the points, running at the rear of the field, and they're not doing them, not going to do themselves any good. Excuse me, that's uh, Lisa Gonzalez. Where's second in points to write? It's med. 27th. Not the run she would have liked, as we're going to go back to the leader, uh, Laura Bakersfield. And looking at my live point standings, I see a number of drivers running very well in the points, not having the kind of days they were hoping for. And this is really going to shake up the point standings heading into next week at Darlington. That is our next race, by the way. The Carolina Dodge Dealers 400. That will be a very good race. We look forward to that. But first we have to finish Bristol. Talked about uh, drivers that need to get in the top 30 in the points to order to get a win. Right now, as I mentioned, the three drivers... That have won this season. That was Gonzalez, Knight, and Langland. They're all inside the top 10 in the points and inside the top 30 in the point standings. The bubble would be the 0-2 of Alexandria Van Dam. Which right now, she's running in 12th. Right now, Troy Kang's in danger of going a lap down. Balvin's the only car off the lead lap with at two laps down. But still, all 38 drivers who took the green took the restart. And of course, 150 laps is our longest race of the season. <clears throat> you know, one of these, um, one of these, um, I think before next race at Darlington, I will have a schedule over here so I can tell you where we're going, actually, so that way I don't have to look on Discord. Because I'll have to write the schedule down and have to put it on my notepad for, um, for future reference. Sorry, I had an itchy on my arm. Past the one-third mark in today's race. <laughs> you know, while these drivers are racing and we're discussing um, this season, you know, I uh, talked to the, w the, the WRA officials, the World Racing Association officials. That's what they stand for. That's what WRA stands for. Um, I asked, I talked to him in the garage area this, this morning, you know, now that we're now race number four right now, I asked them, you know, how does it feel to be, you know, back on YouTube, uh, back on, uh, back in the NR community for the first time since 2014, and and under a new uh, ownership, which is uh, yours truly. And one of the officials said, you know, it's great to be back, you know, because we've never, um, we've missed the excitement with our fans and, you know, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the drivers, you know. Yes, it is the new, yes, we have different drivers in this, in this series and we've had to get used to them now for the first three races of the season. But 
you know, it's great to be in the NR community, and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, um, it's great to see, you know, finally back in the NR community, you know, for the first time since 2014. So, I bet they're really excited, and of course, it's a lot of different, uh, vehicles, uh, a lot of different manufacturers than what we had when this series was known as the Monopoly Cup Series. And the only driver they know in this field, other than Daniel Voiles, is Annie Thomas and uh, uh, Betty. Ch well, they the only driver, the only two drivers in this field they know is Annie Thomas and uh, Daniel Voiles. They've never met Seth Cole, Kyle Langland, uh, Cody Smart. So it's going to be a really fun, interesting season we're going to have. Forty-eight complete. We're on lap forty-nine of one hundred and fifty. While these drivers are circulating, let me go ahead and give you a motorsports calendar. Of course, as I said, uh, under that first yellow, next week we're going to Darlington for the Carolina Dodge Dealers four hundred at Darlington Raceway in South Carolina. The only egg-shaped track that we will go to, and I. Don't know where we go for the following week. I'll have to look on Discord, but like I said, once I get a, a notepad for the schedule, I'll put it up on my computer, so that way we know that way I can memorize where we're going after that. You know, how would it be for Laura Bakersfield in the '77, the Diet Mountain Dew Chevy Camaro? Of course, strange to see the. Strange to see a 77 on the track without the name Elijah Gordon in it. When I've done NR series on this channel before, it's strange to see a number 77 without the name Elijah Gordon in it. Not, not trying to do a rose, but being honest here. <clears throat> but, you know... How would it feel, you know, for Laura Bakersfield driving for Brianna Knight Motorsports to get this number 77 to victory lane? Also, should I point out, the first three races were won by paint schemes that were made by Richard, uh, which is Paints by Raw. And the 77 that's leading this race was painted by Raw because I didn't want to have to worry about painting. So there you go. <clears throat> and of course, Brianna Knight, or excuse me, uh, Laura Bakersfield trying to become the second Chevy Camaro uh, car to go to victory lane. Of course, Kyle Langland went to victory lane at at a uh, Daytona. The door kind of creeped me out, so I do apologize about that. But anyway, so Laura Bakersfield trying to become the second Chevy Camaro car to go to victory lane this season. Of course, Chevy's won two of the first three races. The only non-Chevy winner was Luke Knight, who won at Atlanta last week. Speaking of Luke Knight, where is he running right now? Not having a good run in 23rd. Well, at least you have a win, and you can afford a bad day. Check on the battles. There's Kyle Langland, our winner from the 500. Dean Vols, Ben Erickson, Lisa Gonzalez, the points leader in 16th place. How far away are they going to catch the 10? 10 cars in 1 and 2. Leaders entering 1 and 2. So pretty soon they're going to be catching these back markers. Volvin, the only car off the lead lap. Of course, all the drivers have finished on the lead lap. That will probably not be the case today as we will not go 4 for 4. In that category, we've only had now two cautions so far this season. One from Atlanta and one from um, this race. 
at uh, at Bristol. Of course, this is a day version of Bristol. Next time when we come back to Bristol, be our first elimination race, and four drivers will get eliminated. But that's about what? 25 races from now, so we'll have to see what happens. We're nearing the halfway mark of this race. Now we're on lap number 69. Yeah, Troy King, I don't really think is going to get caught. The only way Troy King can be saved is if we get a caution. Pull up the ticker. As I hit the wrong button, that was not what I was going to do. I was going to do this. Yeah, he's about three or four seconds away from going a lap down. Troy King I'm referring to. So look inside the top ten uh, in the running order. I see a number of drivers like, like Amber Downey, who had a miserable race. Came in this race dead last in the points. She's going to... She's right now in eighth, so that's going to probably get her out of the cell of the point standings. Chloe Erickson having a struggling season. Struggling start to the early part of this season. She's up there. She's right now near the bottom of the points table. Same with Ish Taylor, 30th in the points. So a lot of drivers who really need some good runs today are having some good runs. And a lot of drivers came in running well in points. Not running too well right now. Where's um, Lisa Gonzalez? She is 16th still. And 27th for Soraya Itman is worth the halfway mark of this race. Cody Smart not having a good run. So as of right now, I believe, and I could be wrong, as my hand's in the way, we're halfway through this race. I believe Kyle England's right now 19th, so I believe unless if Laura Bakersfield leads the most laps, I believe she would take the points lead heading into next week's race at Darlington. Good run for Reagan Whitlock, Morgan Henderson, who has been doing okay. More picture fails. I look at the points. Two top tens in the first three races so far this season. Not too bad. Betty Johnson in third. I believe Betty Johnson's also another one of those drivers near the bottom of the points table. Comes in this race 37th in the points. So this would be a very good run for Betty Johnson, a well-needed run for Betty Johnson. Wonder how far, they're not too far away from catching Troy King. And other than those two incidents we've had, we've been clean and green, so. There's Danny Rant in 24th. Hoping he could do a little bit better today. Luke Knight, not the run he would have hoped. There's Sandy Stewart behind Brittany White. Let's find where the points leader is. No, that's not the that's not the points leader. That's the points leader. Still in 16th, and now that now it's a single file train 
right now. And I thought we were under caution for a second. Oh, we got some pit stops. I was going to mention, even though what tires come into play, even though these drivers have enough fuel to make it, looks like tires will be a thing. Oh, we got a crash. Daniel Voiles has crashed. And that is a caution. Our second of the day. Daniel Voiles got rear-ended. Looks like he spun trying to get on the pit road. Oh, boy. This is going to jumble things up. This is going to trap some people lap down as a result. A lot of damage to the Cheeto Chevrolet of Daniel Voles. Let's see what happened. Our second one. First multi-car incident of the day. Oh, DV, you just made a rookie mistake on chopping your teammate there, amigo. I hope that's not Blue Jr. driving that. And then Tyler Henderson just had nowhere to go and just ran in the back of the Cheeto Chevrolet. And that was coming to Pitt Road, may I point out. So Andy Thomas ran in the back of, I think that was the, uh, I think that was the 31 of uh, Mary and Jamestown. But this is going to trap some drivers a lap down because this happened in the middle of pit stops. And I kind of feared something like this was going to happen. Oh, boy. I didn't know if tires were going to last 150 laps. Looked like the leaders could not go that far on tires. So something tells me those tires were only good enough. And they figured that if they can't make it on on tires, then that could be an issue. So looks like we're going to have a lot of drivers on the tail end of the lead lap. Where's the 77 out of all of this? There she is coming out of the pits. Of course, she got beaten out by the uh, 47, or the 41, excuse me. But it looks like Cody Smart might be the race leader. Or did scoring screw up? I think scoring screw. Okay, no, never mind. Scoring did not screw up. That's Cody Smart's first lap he's led so far this season. And again, this happened in the middle of stops, and this is what happens when you have an incident in the pit lane. And Tyler Henderson's got no hood. They had to remove the hood off the 86. 04 is going to go to the inside line. We've just taken the one to go signal. Looks like some drivers got put a lap down. Amber Downey's on the tail end of the lead lap. I don't know why the 30... I think... Okay, the 32, 08, 46. And, okay, so all these drivers that were lapped have fallen to the inside lane. Okay. So all these amigos are hoping for is for a caution to come out so they can get back on the lead lap. Cody Smart will be the leader when we get to green. And he's got a lot cars in front of him. Back to green. Now these drivers have enough tires. Can they have do they have enough tires to make it the rest of the way? First multi cautions we've had this season. That was our second caution of the day. As I hit the wrong button, I was trying to go scrolling up. The leader at the front of the pack is Morgan Henderson. But they're lapped down. Ty 
Tyler Henderson, who ran the back of Daniel Voiles. Everyone has continued on from that incident. Nobody has taken their cars back behind the walls. I hit the wrong camera angle. Sorry about that. Intervals in 37th, another disappointing run for that 26 team. Cody Smart comes this race 19th in the points. A win for Cody Smart, and he will be locked into the playoffs. He's won a race in the Reese's first series, but not high enough in points to even consider as fun in the playoffs as. Greta Wagner nearly got turned by Luke Knight. That would have been female abuse and would have been a big wreck, but thankfully it wasn't. Question is, was that our last yellow of the race? Something tells me it was not. Fifty to go. Brittany White now two laps down. She's up the high side. Oh, we got a crash. Oh, we got a crash in turn number three. Caution's out. Greg Rutz has got damage. And all these guys that were on the tail end of the lead lap just got the freebie. Let's go up to the pace car because I can't tell what exactly happened. That is our third caution of the race. We've had, this is the most cautions we've had so far this season. All right, there's where the yellow was. Let's see where this incident started. You can go away. Oh, Brit Brittany White was a, got involved. Kyle Langland, Daytona 500 winner. Tyler Henderson again. Ish Taylor. We had a multi car wreck. Like Greg Rutz got turned by Ish Taylor. Greg ended up saving it. Then Ish Taylor goes up, gets Brittany White. Then Greg Rutz gets Brittany White. That took out half a dozen cars right there. My goodness. And all those lappers that were on the tail end of the lead lap are now back on the lead lap, thankfully. So our third caution of the day. 
ends a, what was a very good green flag run. So far, Bristol is providing some green flag runs. Boy, good good break for all those drivers that were a lap down on the tail end of the lead lap. They got back on the lead lap unless they end up screwing themselves and coming to pit road for some reason. We're going to get the one to go signal. Nobody out of the race. And now Cody Smart will restart the front of the field as planned. Something tells me that was not our last caution of the day, may I point out. But three cautions so far in this race today, that's a little bit surprising. Last time we were at Bristol, that was the special event race in November. We didn't have a single caution. We've had three so far today as we're back to green flag racing at Bristol. And Cody Smart gets down to the bottom and clears all those lap cars. Boy, I don't I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, Brittany White's got a battered up race car. Check in the back of the field, see if they can start how they're all doing. This is going to really be a point shakeup going into next week. Ish Taylor gets booted out of the way by Morgan Henderson. A bad day for... For, uh... Tyler Henderson just got worse, and of course, he's got no hood on his number 86. Of course, he ran into Daniel Holes under the second caution of the day. Oh, let's go three wide between Brittany White, Reagan Whitlock, and Kyle Langland. I heard scraping. Did we have a crash? Yes, we did. Kyle, uh, Kevin Joseph, sorry. That's Melissa Cooper, Tyler Henderson, and Caution's out for the fourth time today. All right, let's take a look at the replay here. Yep, this is back here in the 14th position. Not sure what in the world the 82 was thinking. Just shoved the 75 in there. And then Tyler Henderson commits another female abuse charge by sending Melissa Cooper into the wall. God damn, that 86 has looked like a damn weapon. Caution out one more time. And another restart coming up. And I called it. I said, I told you, we have not seen our last caution. We have now have more cautions in this race today than what we had in the first three races combined. No cautions at Daytona. No cautions at Las Vegas. A yellow last week at, at um, Atlanta. And already, we've already had four cautions. We've had four more. We've had three more yellows in this race than we had the first three races of the entire season. For goodness' sakes! Of course, we're getting closer to the end of this race.
Man, we're just making history as we got the one to go signal. Anybody out of the race from that? No is the answer. Well, the fans at Bristol is getting their money's worth today. <laughs> They're definitely glad this has been a wreck fest. And I expected that. I'm like, something tells me we're going to have a lot of yellows at Bristol. Well, we already have four of them already. Hopefully we don't have caution number five, but something tells me in the back of my mind we may have a caution number five. Back to green. Here we go again. Oh, let's see how this one's going to end. Luke Knight and Amber Downey gets their lap back. Same with uh, Sandy Stewart. And caution number five is out. All right. We have broken a number of yellows. Oh, wow. Seth Cole and... Red Riding Hood were the reason for this one. Turn three. Oh, boy. We got, well, let's see. Marion Jamestown gets into the nine. Takes the eight car. Took all three cars up into the wall. Well, caution number five? Holy cow. This race is not even over. We already have five yellows. Good God. Now Amber Downey, Luke Knight, Sandy Stewart have gotten themselves back on the lead lap. Now they will restart at the rear of the field. Caution out one more time. Good grief. We have 25 to go. I've been recording for about 40, almost 44 minutes. Good Lord. May end up making some stream requests. Yeah, 2023, we're going to have the, we're going to have the uh, veterans race, or the veteran, or not the veterans race, excuse me. Hopefully this race is over before I hit an hour on this, good lord. I should have just did 125. That would have ended the race, but oh well. I'm the one who did 150. <laughs> All right, let's hope these guys go green the rest of the way. I really don't want to see another yellow. Or that would be caution number six. Nobody out after that one. We're five for five and five yellows. Nobody dropped out. Shockingly. I'll set up some live streams uh, for the Reese's Pro next season. Green flag, we're back to racing. Can we please finish under green and not have a yellow? I don't think Cody Smart minds. Please do not wreck. I want to go the rest of the race so I can get back into VC, please and thank you, because I would like to join Ormy and all that.
Ooh, Annie Thomas going three wide with her team owner, but gives room, thankfully. How about Troy King and the 10 member? He got turned around on the start finish line earlier in the race, was in danger of going a lap down. That yellow came out at a perfect time, got his damage fixed. He's already in the fifth position. Nice rebound for Troy King. Luke Knight in the 97, who just recently got back on the lead lap, now up in the ninth position, so nice run for him. All right, Cody Smart just needs to survive these last 10 laps. Oh, got a spin on the back straightaway. That's Greg Rutz in the 98 car. Has that brought out a yellow? No, it has not. See what happened to Greg real quickly. Second incident, or second time we've had an incident bring out, didn't bring out a yellow. We'll quickly look at the replay. Yep, a bony and was commit. Male abuse ran over Greg Rutz. But since Greg Rutz was out of harm's way, the caution did not come out. But a great result for Cody Smart. 19th in the points, he can be glad this is only a 38-car field, so. Cody, Sp Cody Smart, who graduated from the University of Vermont a couple of years ago, or last year, I should say. Five laps away from going to victory lane, now four. Three to go for Smart. Mile to go here at Bristol for Cody Smart in the 95 Michael McDowell Thriving Financial Ford. He'll get the white flag one more time around. There it is, white flag sponsored by Credit One Bank. One more time around Bristol for Smart. Second week in a row, Ford Mustang will go to victory lane. But this time, the owner of Smart Motorsports, Cody Smart, wins the Food City 500. 
And as Cody Smart locked himself a spot into the playoffs, only time will tell. Standings are official. Cody Smart, the winner. Laura Bakersfield, second. Josephine Bouvier, Alex Hawkins, Kevin Joseph, your top five. Then it's Melissa Cooper, Luke Knight, Greta Wagner, Reagan Whitlock, Amber Downey completed the top ten. As you look on down through the remainder of the finishing results, a lot of drivers had some pretty bad results. And it will shake up the points here today. I'm going to have to sign off real quickly before I go. Hope you guys enjoyed today's race at Bristol in this wrecked fest five cautions we've had. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to become part of the PCS Ray crew today. We're showing your full finish results. We'll show your point standings entering next week at Darlington. As you've been watching a production of the WRA Oreo Cup Series on the PCS Ray Sports and Gaming Channel, the best in racing around the world since 2017. Goodbye from Bristol, everybody.